Hi, I'm the herb guy. Let's make that poison ivy lotion with jewelweed. Feel free to get screenshots as needed. Here's the recipe. Pause and screenshot as needed. Okay, so here's the herbs. I cut them up with a pair of scissors. We have jewelweed. We have heal all. We have plantain. Underneath all those leaves is stinging nettle. I can't show you a picture of that because the video will get banned if I do. We have some echinacea powder because I don't have any fresh that I can use for this particular project. Last but certainly not least is the aloe vera. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. You have aloe vera juice. I'm just throwing it in here for educational purposes. Okay, so I've taken the herbs. I've chopped them up pretty fine. I'm going to take the echinacea. Put it in there. This is just a smoothie maker, a ninja. You can use whatever you want. You can use your blender. And I'm going to take roughly, just going to add a little bit more than half of the oil to that. Like that. Put the lid on and we'll go to the next step. Put on the stove on the lowest heat you possibly can. If it starts to crackle, turn it off, let it cool, and then resume heating. But just keep it within that three hours. So if you start it at nine, you end at noon, regardless. Um, it, that's if it starts to crackle and pop, because that means the herbs are frying. We're going to let that sit for three hours. Take all of our extra stuff that's left over. Aloe vera. The leftover oil. You go in there. Uh, depending on your essential oil, try to make sure make sure that your essential oil is pure. Don't don't get the cheap stuff. So we have some we get from a local Amish source. We're gonna take and put four droppers. One, two, three, four droppers, and then there's a reason why I picked orange, and then we are gonna use one tablespoon of emu oil. If you want to know why I used emu oil, that is also explained on my Patreon page. I want to thank all my Patreons, uh, patrons. You guys made this possible. So we're going to just leave this in here. We're going to put the lid back on. Just let it sit until our other is done. The hours is up. Strain it. Clean your pan. Put it back in the pan. Beeswax on very low heat. Stir until mixed well blender and blend on high until it's creamy. Enjoy your lotion. Your lotion should have a nice creamy consistency and the good thing about adding the emu oil to it is after you put it on within five to ten minutes you won't have any oily residue left over. Pretty neat huh? If you like this video let me know in the comments below. Otherwise have a great day.